Welcome to Madrid, Spain. I'm here in Madrid. Came from Barcelona yesterday. So I'm here in the Chamartin train station. This is my uh, uh, first full day and uh, today I'll be exploring uh, Madrid. So I am taking the next train going to Seoul and it takes a while to get used to uh, the trains here in, in Madrid. I was using uh, the long distance train it was in Spanish though and I wanted to go to Seoul because it, it did not give me the specific uh, destination and then uh, asking is always the best so I went to the receptionist and she was very kind and very helpful and very joyful to help and uh, she told me you gotta use the other machine, the uh, the, the local. So there you go. I found uh, I found the selection Seoul. So I'm here in Char Martin. The, my hotel is very close uh, to this station. is a walking distance, and then I am heading to Seoul. It takes about I believe it's about uh, 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 ten stops, but it will it will only take me about 15 minutes, and I will be there. Okay. So that's the Seoul. I'm going to stop uh, in the train station Seoul and that will be my starting point to explore Madrid. Right here in Seoul, I'm going upstairs and I'm uh, walking to the Plaza Mayor in Madrid. Right to the Plaza Mayor. Right there. And that is uh, Seoul and that's the train I took. I'm here in uh, Portugal, Seoul, and I knew it. I will encounter another uh, prominent uh, individual here in Europe seated on a horse. So this is a very good example. This is located in the Portugal, Seoul. So he is uh, Carlos III, okay, a former uh, king of Spain back in the 17th century, and he was the proponent of the uh, of the Enlightened Absolutism, which is a form of monarchy. So his statue is located in Puerto del Sol, which is the starting point of exploring Madrid because this is the gateway to six national roads here in Spain. So this is very close to the Sol train station and I came from Chamartin, it's about two steps from, that, uh, from the main station to here and right upon getting off the train station you will see wow, we have the statue of a very important person here in Spain. All right, it's a bright sunny day here in Spain. I came from Barcelona yesterday and it's gorgeous. So I'm heading to that direction. I am going to the Plaza Mayor. Once again, so this is the uh, Plaza del Sol, one of the most important square here in uh, Madrid that you will uh, definitely, right on your face, you will see the statue of a man on a horse. Again, as I said, there is always a horse and a man seated in every, <laughs> practically every place in Europe I've been. This is uh, the Plaza Mayor or the main square here in Madrid, the most important square in this uh, city. So historically, so the main square was a former execution place as well as a bullfight arena. Right in the center, once again, another prominent uh, person here in Madrid, here in Spain, seated on the horse. This time, so he is uh, King Philip II. So nowadays, so this main square is lined with uh, many restaurants so that you can satisfy your hunger and then one, if you're here you might want to try the calamari sandwich so which is one of the delicacy here in uh, Madrid apparently I'm vegetarian so I will leave it to you but I'm going to try uh, the porous all right he's now signing out from the main square or the Plaza Mayor and again you will see the statue of King Philip the Tooth and this square was formerly an execution place as well as a bullfight arena nowadays this is a place of entertainment uh, performances as well as you will find many restaurants that will satisfy your hangar
see this guy, okay, man walking with a head. So there's so many things, so many like him here in uh, Spain. I saw another couple, okay, back in, uh, in, uh, in Rome. Okay, so, okay, you will see. It's funny to see, they will approach you. Uh, of course, if you have a photo, you have to give them something. Sometimes, uh, if you give them a uh, euro, you will ask for more. So be careful. So, well, obviously, so the head is inside. All right, and then the head is uh, sticking on uh, a solid uh, metal. The official residence of the Spanish royalty is a must-see. However, spotting the king here is not very easy because this uh, Palacio Real, or the official palace of the Spanish royalty, is only used for state ceremonies. Additionally, the Palacio Real is also the home of the Spanish armory. Once inside, take note of the material that this palace is made of, ranging from marble to mahogany. Behind is a uh, Teatro Real. This was a former official residence of the uh, Queen. And you will see the statue of Queen Elise Isabel II. Nowadays, this is an orchestra house where opera takes place, as well as this is a place where you can learn more about the history of Madrid and the history of Spain in general. Once again, this is uh, the uh, Teatro Real, a former residence of the Queen of Spain. Admire the beauty of this only Egyptian temple found in Madrid, Spain. This is the Diva Temple. The pieces of Egyptian architecture you see behind were transported from Ashwan, Egypt back in the 200 BC in order to be saved before the construction of the Ashwan Dome in Egypt. Once again, so this is the only Egyptian temple found in Spain, the Diva Temple, and the Egyptian structures that you see behind were transported back from Egypt in order to be saved before the construction of the Ashwan Dome in Egypt. That was way back 200 BC. This viaduct, the Segovia viaduct, is a marvel of the 19th century architecture in Spain. 
So historically, this was uh, meant to be fully constructed way back in the early part of the 18th century, but it was only in 1934 that this viaduct was fully constructed because of lack of funds. This viaduct is also known as a suicide viaduct because there were several suicides that took place back then. In order to prevent further suicide, they put up or erected uh, transparent walls in between uh, the bridge and to prevent further suicides. Additionally, so this is one of the most iconic structures here in the city of Madrid. Once again, so this Segovia Viaduct is uh, one of the most iconic and this was meant to be um, fully completed back in the 18th century, but because of the lack of money, it was only 1934 when it was completed. And in 1998, uh, they erected transparent walls to prevent okay, more suicides that will happen from this bridge. But as you can see, there are arches in this viaduct, and that's what made it very, very architectural marvel in the 19th century. All right, here's Arnel, signing out from the uh, Segovia Viaduct here in Spain.